we're going to prove this identity. And some of the tricks that we use, you're going to see if you take um, higher level mathematics, such as um, maybe some more um, advanced undergraduate courses in abstract algebra, um, or maybe if you take an advanced calculus course. So these techniques get used fairly often. So you see some little tricks here. On the left side, we're going to work with this, we're going to make it look like the right side. So we're going to start out with cosine alpha, cosine beta. Essentially, we're deriving the right side or proving, establishing this identity. So what I'm going to do is, my, my first step is to take and I'm going to multiply and divide by the same values. So 2 times a half times the cosine alpha, cosine beta. So notice 2 times a half is still 1, so that would get us there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the inside like this. I've got cosine alpha, cosine beta. So I'm going to go something like, oops, let me, before I do that, let me take that 2 and pull it to the inside. So I'm going to rewrite this like this. And I can do that because multiplication is commutative, meaning the order in which I multiply doesn't matter. Okay. Now from here, my next trick is to split this guy up like this. And now notice I have the difference of two angles and the sum of two angles as far as cosine. So I'm going to think back to the sum formulas and this trick you'll see a lot. Okay, so one of the tricks was to multiply and divide by the same thing. The other trick is to add and subtract the same thing because essentially that keeps your keeps your equation balanced or your expression balanced if you will. Okay, So I'm going to um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add, so I'm going to go like this, I'm going to go cosine alpha, cosine beta, so I'm going to add sine alpha, sine beta, and then I'm going to subtract sine alpha, sine beta. So again, it gets added here and subtracted here. So I haven't changed anything. So I still have that half up front. But now notice that cosine alpha, cosine beta, this guy right here, that guy is the difference. So this guy is cosine of alpha. Since it's plus here, it'll be minus here. So what I'm doing is I'm using the difference formula for cosine in reverse. Okay, so here's that guy, and here it is here. Over here, I'm going to do the same thing. Since it's minus here, it's going to be plus over here. And it was plus in between, so I've got this guy. Just like that. And that's our proof. So the two tricks are... Multiply and divide by the same thing, and add and subtract the same thing.